Poor Meghan can't seem to pull herself out of her deep depression. Harry's dream job goes to Princess Catherine. The choice Charles made were excellent. They are all deserving of their titles because they work so hard to maintain the royal family. Considering that Harry and Meghan have stepped back from royal duties, no one should have any expectations for them. Hello, and thank you for visiting the UK Royal News Trend channel on YouTube. The King has finally addressed Meghan's legion of fans. Just now, King Charles III announced that the Queen Consort would be replacing Prince Andrew as Colonel of the Grenadier Guards. Currently, the Prince of Wales holds the rank of Colonel in the Welsh Guards. In place of Prince William as Colonel of the Irish Guards, the Princess of Wales has been promoted. It's a huge deal that this is Catherine's first household division regiment. Catherine was appointed to a position that Harry has been eyeing, thanks to King Charles III. Despite being poised for a promotion to Colonel, Harry left the royal family. Kingly manoeuvre. Quite a brilliant move on the part of the King. Megzilla's carefully planned public relations stunt to steal the spotlight will be derailed, and naturally, this will make Meghan Markle green with envy. Some are upset that the King Charles hasn't responded to Harry's public attacks. But his actions speak louder than words, and they prove his point without him even having to say a word. King Charles has just shown that he has taken over his mother in many ways. While his silence may be priceless, his actions speak volumes. He started using his mum's approach. The narcissists must be dying of silence while his subjects find comfort in his actions. The political and diplomatic skills he possesses have my utmost confidence. He was taught by a legendary guru. He is treating the California couple with great delicacy and precision, demonstrating that they aren't members of the working royals as per their wish, while still leaving family invitations open to demonstrate he still considers them family members. Despite having made it clear that they don't want to be working royals and that they want to heal the rift, Harry and his wife continue to ignore family invitations while complaining about how unfairly they are treated by the monarchy. They've made themselves liars in the public while King Charles fortifies the senior royal support system. When he was young, he sat at his mother's feet and soaked up the knowledge. There will be more crying and temper tantrums at the Montecito mansion. Didn't Harry request a return for his former military rank? Isn't it true that Harry and Meghan's master plan, including getting the king to give them back all the money they'd received from the crown when Harry was employed there? Things like this have a cumulative effect, showing how much Harry wasted over time. In this conflict, Harry is fighting on Meghan's behalf. Meghan's not allowed to bestow any titles upon him. To the contrary, she could be the reason he loses it all. For what benefit would Harry merely repeat what Meghan tells him to say? The working royals, with King Charles III making plans and changes, fascinate me. They were all oblivious to the distant white noise that was coming from across the Atlantic. The entire household has chosen to ignore it. But I think the message he sent back to Montecito was clear enough, and that King Charles spoke for many with this announcement. Maintaining silence and carrying on as usual is priceless. Catherine, you may have sincere congratulations. Indeed, this is a picture of her that is absolutely breathtaking. To be honest, for a second there I wondered, who will be in the carriage with the children? Yet, they have Sophie, who would never allow anything bad to happen to them. To commemorate Catherine, Princess of Wales' 40th birthday on January the 10th, Harry has postponed the publication of his book. Cleverly, he shifted his release date to compete with the coverage of her big day and the stunning photograph she took of the event. To think that this half-prized book of trash could ever upstage this beautiful lady demonstrates how twisted Harry and Meghan are, not to mention how narcissistic they are. The only thing Meghan, Harry and Prince Charles want is money. As the last few years have shown, they have zero desire to attend any sort of intimate family celebrations. It's in his Netflix documentary, so it must be true. They are aware that the king still has feelings for Harry and will be delighted to meet his grandchildren. Against his father, he plans to use this as a weapon. That was pretty cruel of you, and he'll probably come to regret his insensitivity in the long run. What's wrong with him now that he's had such a successful life? His wife is incredible and the future looks bright for this couple. They do, however, show up for and or request invitations to major public events. 
even submitted their resumes months ahead of time. Seems a little fishy and dishonest, no? Alternatively, I'm overjoyed that His Majesty has bestowed this title upon HRH, the Princess of Wales. Over the years, I've been captivated by pictures of her and HRH, Prince of Wales, then the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, celebrating St. Patrick's Day with the regiment. It was speculated that the late great Queen Elizabeth II intended to give this title to her daughter-in-law, then known as HRH, the Duchess of Cambridge. But, alas, this was never to be. It has been reported that the regiment requested HRH, the Princess of Wales, for the position of colonel. The regiment has a large Irish wolfhound they call Seamus, and she is quite taken with him. HRH, the Princess of Wales, gets along great with people of all ages, races and religions. She's a dog person too. To take pleasure in an animal's company is indicative of a good moral character. Excellent news, the Irish guards have a new colonel. However, after doing some sober second guessing, I've concluded that the Princess of Wales probably has an allergy to equines. She may be riding in the carriage with the kids, like Countess of Wessex or Lady Louise Windsor, or she may be on a horse in uniform trooping the colour. She claims that more time she spends around horses, the less allergic she becomes to them. Whether it was at Princess Eugenie's wedding or trooping the colour one year ago, I'm pretty sure I caught sight of Lady Louise babysitting Prince George, Princess Charlotte and her brother, the Viscount Seven, from within Buckingham Palace. However, I recall seeing her in the company of all three of them, where she appeared to be in charge, which is why I'm speculating that she might be riding shotgun with them in the carriage. Simply to maintain the peace of mind of the parents who entrusted you with their care. It happened at Eugenie's big day. The senior bridesmaid position went to Lady Louise. I'm not British, so I'm not sure why the little girls are called bridesmaids instead of flower girls, and why the bride's friends aren't included in the wedding very often. However, I do know that in Her Majesty the Queen's wedding, most of the girls look much older than they actually were. Still, Louise did play the part of the special attendant whose responsibility it is to oversee the orderly procession of page boys and flower girls up the church steps and inside the sanctuary. The children of the Prince and Princess of Wales, along with Lady Louise, could very well be in the carriage with the Countess of Wessex. Many people incorrectly assume that because Princess Louise did not assume the title of HRH upon turning 18, she has no intention of doing so in the future. Sometimes I think people make hasty judgments, like when they say King Charles III isn't doing enough to support Harry and Meghan. Three months have passed since the greatest shock of his life, and I believe actions speak louder than words. Despite the fact I am neither Louise nor her parents, I have the impression that she will want to earn a degree before claiming the title of HRH Prince Louise of Sussex. So, how about you? What are your thoughts on this particular situation? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section so I can discuss them with you. Like and share my video wherever you find it helpful by telling your friends who appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our UK Royal News Trend channel for more. Now, I'd like to say thank you for watching and say goodbye until the next video.